Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today, which is this morning, we're back on our video. Today, we're gonna be doing some ribeye steaks, which is on the grill and stuff. So yeah, so check out the ribeye steaks. Since we haven't done a steak video in a, video in a long time, so here are the ribeye, ribeye steaks. Yeah, PS, they look different now. Which is from Walmart. And also, I don't know, what store did they get it from? Well, what steaks did they get, get it from the store or somewhere else? But that's where about steaks for you, yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I rinse the steaks and get rid of it for the season to, to the ribeye steaks. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ribeye steaks, you know, rinsed out and stuff, since you haven't had them dry and all this stuff, to add your season to the ribeye steaks, all you do now just add the Tony's. It has some Tony's. Okay, once you added the Tony's, all you gotta do now is just add a little garlic salt. Since to try my best not to add too much salt to this, or else it'll be too salty to eat. But I gotta have some more flavor, though, you know? Some garlic salt. Okay, that's a garlic salt. All you gotta do now is just add some black pepper. Once you added the black pepper, all you gotta do now, just add some garlic powder. Since garlic is the main key of making food right. Once you added the garlic powder, the last but not least, is some minced onion. Mm. Okay, once you add your seasoning, all you gotta do now, just I try, I'll see try to flip it back over. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna keep you did it once I do the same thing. Hey guys, I'm back. So once let's see, once you flip flip it on the back tap, just do the same thing. Like some Tony's. Since I'm I'm just trying to season it right. Okay, once you add the Tony's again, add a little garlic salt. Once you add the garlic salt, black pepper again. And some garlic powder. Last but not least, it's a, it's a minced onion. Yeah, this is the process of repeating the same season stuff. And I'm gonna keep you updated once get started. Hey, guys, some back. So once you got done seasoning your meat, all you gotta do now is just all you rub it on to, to the ribeye steaks. That way so you can balance the flavor out. Okay, once you did that, all you gotta do now, just do the same thing. Since I gotta make my food right. Okay, once you did all that, all I'm gonna do, do now, just put some ball over it. Since you know we gotta marry the, marry the steaks, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I did that. Hey, you got some back, so. Once you got done seasoning your ribeye steak, all you have to do now is put foil over it. That means we're done with the seasoning process and something like that. You yeah, gotta do it tightly. And there you go. This is all you have to do. And I'm gonna keep it updated once I get to the grill. Once the ribeye steaks are like marinating. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you get to, get to your grill, yeah, all I'm gonna do now is add some charcoal. You know, I got the special kind. All I'm gonna do now is add some charcoal. Since I, I, I gotta make, I gotta make sure that I gotta add let's see, add the partial for getting the full size. 
Charcoal. Okay, then you got the charcoal, charcoal room. All you gotta do now is just stack them. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the charcoals are fully stacked up. Okay, you got some bags. So once you stack your charcoals into the pyramid, all I'm gonna do now is just add some water fluid. Since we know once you add the water fluid. All I'm gonna do now is just let this sit for a couple minutes. And then, there you go. And all I'm gonna do now is just oh yeah, set up a fire once the charcoals has been settled down with a lot of fluid. And I'm gonna keep it there once it does that. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your lot of fluid has been settled down, settled down with charcoal, all I'm gonna do now is just finally start a fire. Since we know we gotta make our charcoals turn a little white. See what I'm doing? And that's the fire. Since we gotta put, put on those ribeye steaks. Okay, you know. Okay. Once you got the fire going on, all I'm gonna do now is just let, let our fire go down and I'm gonna keep you there once the fire has been going down. Ooh, hey guys, I'm back. So once your fire has been going up, us going down on the charcoals, now I'm gonna do now just a lot of charcoals turn a bit white and stuff. So yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated once the tr right, charcoals has turning a bit white. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your charcoals turning a bit white, right, now just spit them out. Yeah, we sold the steaks, uh, the real life steaks will cook it even they very even and stuff. Sorry for stirring for a bit. I don't know why I did do that. Okay, once you got your charcoals all spread it out, all I'm gonna need to do now just okay, you put your rack, racks back on. Since we you know I did my best in the grill. Since I'm gonna the one I'm cook at and no dirty. Food. Okay, once you got your racks on, I want to do now just you know let the truck I mean, let the grill warm up a little more, and I'm gonna keep you updated once you get the steaks out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your grill is ready to be cooked, all we gonna do now just finally put our ribeye steaks on. Two, that's three, and that's four. And there you go. Once you got your ribeye steaks on, I'm gonna do now just let this cook. Oops, sorry. Oh, let, let this cook for like 10 minutes, and I'm gonna keep you updated once the, you know, ribeye steaks are cooking. Hey, got some back. So, once your steaks have some cooking for like 10 minutes. Yeah, so now I just flip them. Yeah, like that. Yeah, put the other one right here. Yeah, you can tell that the steaks are done cooking for 15 minutes. And since we're gonna move this. Okay, once you flip the steaks, check it out. All I want to do now just put the grill down and I'm gonna keep you updated once the steaks have been cooking for another 10 minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your steaks have been cooking for another 10 minutes, I'm gonna need you now just do the same thing. So you flip it. Yeah, like that. And that's how you do it. And I'm gonna do now just they let those ste steaks cook until they're well done. That's how I like my steaks. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the steaks are finally done. The real life steaks. Hey guys, I'm back. So once your steaks it has been done, all you do now is just take this out. 
that one too. And I might let this let this go for another another couple minutes. Is it's a different brand of ribeye steak. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the steaks are done cooking a little more. Hey guys, some back. So once your steaks, your last two steaks has been done, yeah, like that. All I'm gonna do now just take them all out. The last two. Once you took them all out, all you have to do now just close it. And there you go. That's how you cook ribeye steaks. And I'm gonna keep you updated once you get to the kitchen. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your ribeye steaks in the kitchen, check it out. All nice and done. Yep, well done. Just like I like them. The ribeye steaks on the grill for the first time. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do now? Just let them rest. Since so I got this thing right here. Ooh, good thing I don't have to use use no foil and all that stuff. So yeah. And I'm gonna keep you did it once the steaks are resting up. Hey guys, some back. So once your ribeye steak is done resting, you can tell. All you do now just put it on the plate and I'm gonna keep you did it once to show you the steak. Hey guys, some back. So once you got your ribeye steak from the grill, all nice and good. All you do now just cut it. And see how it is. Ooh, check it out. Ooh, nice and well done. That's how I like my steak. And check out the rest of this steak. Yeah. Now let's get this ribeye steak a taste test in three, two, one. Man, that is some good steak. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep it updated once I get through my steak. Hey guys, I'm back. So the ribeye steaks, oh, the ribeye steak that I had from the grill, it's like super amazing and good. And plus the steak was tender. The, the steak was tender and also has a lot of good flavors. So check it out. Yeah, ribeye, a ribeye steak eaten by me. And check out the rest of those ribeye steaks. Yum. Looking so good. And that's a wrap on those ribeye steaks, which is from the grill. And that video is going to go up for probably a week or two along with the other videos or something like that. So, yeah. Way too. If you're new to the channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell if you get a chance. Way too. It's been your boy, Jim Miles. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed that ribeye steak video.